<clears throat> not sure exactly where I got cut off there, but I was just saying, uh, if anything of rare quality is good that I pick up, I'll just, you know, I'll throw it up on the auction house, and if it's not, I'll just salvage it for materials. So. Alright, we're getting closer to Magda. Just clear out the rest of these little packs here for a few extra experience. <clears throat> Okay. Alright, on to Magda. I don't think I'll get enough experience from completing the quest to get me to level 55, or 56, excuse me. But, we'll see. It'll Hopefully it'll take me pretty close. Now, I'm not sure how much damage this will do to me, but I'm going to try to avoid her flies because they may do too much. I don't think they'll one-shot me, but I'm not going to take the chance. Alright. <clears throat> I'll hit her with grenades so that it lowers her damage. Okay. Just in case those flies did come out and hit me. Alright, she's just about dead. I think she's going to spawn those minions one more time. Yep. Not having too much of an issue here with her. I do really wish that I had better gear on than this cane set, but I'm still gonna risk it. I may regret risking it, but I'm gonna risk it. Yep, there we go. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get a level up, but it did take me a bit closer. And I got an amulet, a rare amulet, which is always good. Potential for something decent here. Oh, if only I was a wizard or a witch doctor. That's an awesome amp. Well, it's awesome for its level. But I'll throw that up on the auction house. Pretty decent intelligence, decent vitality for a level 50 item. It even has some crit chance, uh, damage reduction, magic find. So this is actually quite decent for its level here. So I think I'll just throw that up on the auction house, see how much I can get for it. I'm not going to save it for, uh, I, already, I already have a wizard who's level 60 in hardcore. I'm not going to save it for my witch doctor because by then, hopefully I'll have something even better. So I'll just throw that up on the auction house. Uh, what is this, an enchantress focus? That's not a bad, again, not a bad uh, item for its level. But I don't use the enchantress, so I'm just going to go ahead and salvage that. Okay, let's head back to town, complete this quest here, and move on. Again, slowly progressing, but progressing nonetheless. And I want to thank everybody again for joining me, watching me uh, progress on my hardcore characters. I really appreciate it. it. makes it more fun for me to record these videos and, and post them up on YouTube for your entertainment. So... Okay, let me just stash this amulet quickly, and I'll throw that up on the auction house later on. Okay, very close to level 56 here. I'm not sure if I have any items in my stash for level 56, but I'm not going to take the time out to look now. I'll head back there once we, you know, once we get level 56 and see what I have. I think I already got this from this... Yeah, I already picked it up, okay. For anybody that doesn't know, you can go uh, visit that corpse about halfway through Act 2 or so, like, you know, right around this time after you kill Magda. Go visit that corpse and it will give you uh, a book or a journal if you don't have it yet. So, I picked it up back in normal mode, I guess. Actually, should keep an eye on my health here. I was kind of just roughing it there, just kind of throwing grenades out, not really paying attention, but these things actually can hurt me if they crowd up. Okay. 
All right, let's make our way to the sewers here. Actually, not the sewers, whatever it's called. It's not really the sewers, Ashira. <laughs> you get to the sewers later on. Which will be good. I'm actually looking forward to the sewers later on because I want to see if I can get a Murlocket. Still haven't gotten one on Hardcore or Softcore yet. But I'll get one eventually. It's only a novelty thing anyway. I'm not really that anxious for it. I couldn't believe it when I was doing that uh, Paragon level 100 run with my wizard. In that very same run, I checked the sewers to see if I could get a Murlocket, and I did get the spawn. I got the Moontooth Dreadshark to spawn. He's the one who drops the Murlocket, and he's a random... Oh, right, level 56, cool. He's a uh, random encounter in the sewers, and he did spawn on that run, but unfortunately he didn't drop the Murlocket when I killed him, so... should actually be using my shurikens here. My chakrams. <laughs> they do a lot more damage than my grenades, but they also cause hatred, so I have to keep an eye on that as well. This guy said he doesn't have any idea how people have 2k plus DPS. I think he means 200k. <laughs> I have 2k plus DPS right now. Nah, he must mean 200k. Oh, it is the sewers. I apologize. I was wrong. I was, uh, must have been thinking of a different part of the act. <clears throat> Alright. Well, good. Maybe we'll find Moontooth Red Shark in here. <laughs> See if I can get a Murloc. In. This is one of the zones that I actually am going to get every inch of it. Because I want to, as I said, I want to see if I could find that spawn of Moontooth Red Shark. <clears throat> just for anybody that's just starting out hardcore for the first time, when you run into those guys, these betrayed, once you kill them, their bodies spawn this poison crap that comes out. You want to make sure once they are killed, you don't stand over top of them because that poison will drain your health very, very quickly. It's like the poison from the trees in Act 1. Um, that can kill you in an instant without even realizing, without you even realizing it. So you want to make sure that you don't uh... that you don't stand over them like that and um, I think that goblin escaped oh no nope, there he is got him nice a ring very nice yeah you, uh, I was saying you want to make sure that if, if you ever see any of these diseased bodies as well these little piles of diseased bodies and those, those betrayed they pop up poison which you do not want to stand in <laughs> do not stand in it On softcore, it's not much of a big deal if you die, you know, whatever, you just respawn, but that's a bad, bad way to die on hardcore. Let me check this ring real quick. I might be able to equip it if it's better than mine now. No, it's not. Oh, well, okay. Congrats, Templar, for leveling up. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Just connect this part of the map. I'll head uh, southeast here. Oh, no, never mind. No, I won't. <laughs> spam. So much spam from gold sellers nowadays. I get anywhere between 5 and 10 friend requests a day from gold sellers. Hopefully Blizzard implements some sort of a better fix for that. They have, <coughs> I mean, I have to give them credit, they have lessened it, but, you know, it used to be much worse than it is now, but it's still quite annoying when you receive so many friend requests from spam and gold sellers. 